Hi, it's Danny from the Whiteboard Blog, and in this video I wanted to very quickly run through how to switch between the two versions of Active Inspire. I'm not sure anybody realizes, but back in the early 2000s, there was two different versions of the Promethean software. There was Active Studio and there was Active Primary. And then in 2009, they were both scrapped and one platform was released called Active Inspire. But that version of Active Inspire lets you choose whether you want to see it in the primary version or the secondary based sort of studio version. And it's really easy to switch between the two, but you might find you're stuck in one mode and you don't know you can actually switch between the two. So one might be better for you than the other. I'll show you how to swap. With Active Inspire, if you go up to to view and then primary look and feel you click on there the message will pop up saying would you like to change that look and feel and you need to restart so you say yes and then nothing will happen then you've got to quit the software and start again so I'll do that now and then what you then get here is the primary version of active inspire this is how the old active primary used to look pretty much with tools popping up on the side here so you will have then down the bottom here pens and various tools and colors and so on if you've got the primary view and you want to see it as active uh, studio used to look so back to the secondary sort of the grown-up view of active inspire and all you need to do is repeat that so go to view studio look and feel say yes and then when you quit the software there's a secondary view so probably more like the active primary skin be suitable for sort of key stage one and maybe lower key stage two and then if you're upper key stage two you might want to use the studio view anyway and then obviously for secondary schools and and business and so on then the studio view is, is much more appropriate so in a nutshell that's how to switch between active primary look and active studio look uh, with one bit of software active inspire hope you found that useful any questions about Promethean active inspire please let me know i'll do some more videos which explains how to use it um, i've got some videos already done which you can take a look at. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll be back with some more videos soon. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.